Okay, let's look at a question on momentum. That is question 4 from 2023 final exam. Okay, let's go through the question. A wooden trolley of mass 2.7 kg moves to the left with a constant velocity of 3 meters per second. A bullet of mass 0.03 kg is fired horizontally from the left towards the troll. So there's the bullet, there's the troll. Then the bullet strikes the trolley and comes to rest inside the trolley in 0.02 seconds. The average net force exerted by the trolley on the bullet during this time is 591 newtons. Now the bullet trolley uh, combination now moves to the right as shown in diagram 2. Okay. Ignore all the frictional and rotational effects. Write down the magnitude and direction of the average net force that the bullet exerts on the trolley. We know that the trolley exerts 591 newtons on the, on the bullet and that force is going to the left. So therefore, the bullet, according to Newton's third law, is going to exert the same force of 591 newtons but going to the right that is the force that exerted by the bullet on the trolley okay so question number 4.2 uh, calculate the magnitude of the velocity with which the bullet strikes the trolley okay so what do we have here um, we know that the final velocity for the whole system, because they say the bullet will rest inside, is going to be zero. Okay, so that is going to be zero. And then the initial velocity is what we are looking for. Okay, and then the F net, the F net. If we are choosing right to be positive, if we are choosing right to be positive, we are looking for F net, the force that that will be applied on the bullet by the trolley. Okay, and that is the 591, but the trolley is going to apply the force on the bullet, which is going to the left. So that is negative 591 newtons it's going to the left remember you're looking for the force that's applied by the trolley on the bullet we are interested on in what's happening to the bullet not the trolley because you're looking for the speed of the bullet the magnitude of the velocity of the bullet okay so here we can use the formula f net is equal to the rate of change in momentum okay we know the time was given there as 0 0.02 seconds so your f net is negative 591 is equal to a change in momentum remember it's m vf minus vi change in time so the mass of the bullet is 0 0.03 and then the VF is 0 minus VI and then all over 0 0.02. So if you cross multiply, you will multiply 591 by 0 0.02. So negative 591 multiplied by 0 0.02 and then that gives us negative 11.82 which is equal to 0 0.03 and then 0 minus vi 
Okay. Then zero. Uh, now we're going to multiply uh, 0 0.03 by 0 and 0 0.03 by negative vi. So negative 11.82, 0 0.03 by 0 is just 0. 0 0.03 by negative uh, vi is negative 0 0.03 vi. Then you just divide by negative 0 0.03 negative 0 0.03 and then that will cancel and then you have vi is equal to 11.82 divided by 0 0.03 that gives us uh, it's 11.82 uh, divided by 0 0.03 and then that gives us 394 meters per second going to the right okay then the next question uh, 4.3 the question is state the principle of conservation of linear momentum in weights and we know that the total linear momentum in an isolated system is conserved or it's constant okay then the last question calculate the magnitude of the velocity of the bullet trolley combination after the collision so now we are dealing with collision and we can see that 4.3 they were asking us to state the conservation of linear momentum so it's most likely that 4.4 will have to use that law okay so we're going to use the law of conservation of linear momentum question 4.4 which will be the total momentum before is equal to the total momentum after before we have two separate objects i'll just call this object one bullet object two the trolley so it's going to be m1 vi1 plus m2 vi2 and then it's going to be equal to what after collision they will combine into one so you have m1 plus m2 multiplied by vf they have the same velocity after collision okay we're still using right as positive so the mass of the bullet is 0 0.03 multiplied by the initial velocity of the bullet we have just calculated here to be 394 going to the right so we'll write it as positive so it's 394 plus mass 2 which is the mass of the trolley 2.7 multiplied by we have three but this is going to the left and we chose right as positive so that would be negative three and then after collision m1 is still 0 0.03 plus m2 is 2.7 then that's vf okay uh, let's calculate the left hand side so it's 0 0.03 by 394 plus 2.7 multiply by negative 3 and that will give us 3.72 is equal to the right hand side is 0 0.03 plus 2.7 which gives us 2.73 vf then all you have to do is just divide by 2.73 2.73 so therefore vf the final velocity of the system after collision will be 3.72 divided by 2.73 and the final answer will be that will give us 1.36 meters per second so that's the end of that question.
so 1.6 meters per second okay that's the end of that question